what's up everybody i'm back and in this video i'm going to go over with you guys the i'm going to do a quick walk through of the bonafide kayaks ex 123 this is a boat that um i've been paddling for a while now i've had this boat almost three years but i realized that i've never really done a like a walkthrough or a true on water review of my bonafide ex let me start here with the bow this is something that bonafide's done on a lot of their boats one thing that bonafide's really always try to pride themselves in is putting the handle more like a suitcase style handle for lifting the boat up you can grab it it's easier to grab a boat like this than it is a handle here and lift up. It's definitely easier at pulling the boat. You can pull this thing really nicely. You can lock it off. Nice solid um, injected molded handle there. The drain plug is located in the front. I don't know if you guys can see that. The drain plug is located in the front. And the reason that drain plug is in the front is because it has a sealed bulkhead in it. That's the why the drain plug is in the front. If you get all the water in here, you need a way of draining it. This is not, this is not standard on the boat. This is something that I added. Moving on back, obviously you don't get the sticker. I added that sticker on there. This, this deck styling, so this deck styling here is kind of cool, but it actually serves a purpose. This deck styling actually helps hold structure to this area. So the reason that those lines are there, just give it kind of like a, a rugged type look, but it's also to give you uh, structure in the mold so it doesn't sink away right there. there. There's not much storage in here that you can store, but I'll show you what I put in here. I put, basically, what I run in here is that. If you guys know what that is, if you're paddling a sit-in style boat, you definitely want to carry a bilge pump with you because if you flip over, you'll see exactly why, what I'm talking about as far as getting water out of there. So that's, that's what I use in there mostly 90% of the time. And this is our NRS version. I got this off of Amazon. They're available at REI. And I added that extra to it. So, you know, it's just another way of holding on to something and locking it off. If you guys are paddling this boat, I highly recommend getting one or basically anyone that's paddling any sitting style boat i'm telling you you need to have one of those on your boat at all times that's just that's just a little safety tip for you guys you don't have to listen to me but i'm just telling you you'll wish you had it if you ever flip over out in the lake in the middle so yeah uh we'll toss that aside if you look at the design of the bungee hooks right here you'll see that there's a hole in them so that makes it perfect for just getting some some spare bungee and i can put like another gear bag up here if you look at it i mean i could throw a whole gear bag in that front but like i said it's not a big tank well in there moving on back this area right here this is not standard on it either this is another track that i put right here you can put two on there i just didn't see the need in putting another one over there if i already had one there i did put one on here for mounting a camera but then i also had to look a little spare right there i know what you guys are saying you're probably thinking what are these stick around and i'll show you why i added these on there you see that they're all the way through. So you see that I put these things. Let's see, moving on back. Oh yeah, I did drill holes in my cockpit rim. This is basically, I think that's a 5 16 hole. I drilled a hole right here because if you if you need to drain this boat, you need those extra, because the way this cockpit rim is, I did add extra holes there. I added it there, and I also added a big one right back here for draining that cockpit out. So yeah, that's two things right there. Oh, and I did add like a little taco style grip up here. If you guys notice, there's not really a paddle park on this thing, but you know, no big deal. You can add like, you can get one of these little things and that works perfect. Look how well that holds that paddle there. Those are sold by Yak Attack. Several people carry these things. I think even Walmart has a version of this. It's basically you just run two screws down in it and then put a nut and bolt on the back side of it. Look how well that holds that in there. Is that not cool? Is that not, is that not, that's what I highly recommend you guys put that up. You can put it up there or put it back here. I've seen it in different spots. Moving on back to the dashboard. You can remove this dashboard. This isn't standard on here. Neither is this. I added these, but pretty much, you know, you've got, you've got a cup holder here. This will hold any type of just water bottle or, or, or Yeti cups are really nice in there. You can also put a cup holder here. It has a little drainage down inside there. I did crack mine, I did stack mine up, and I did crack it, so I will be getting another one of those. So you guys, watch out if you're stacking this boat. I, I forgot it was on there, and I stacked the boat on top of it. It's really not a fault of this. This is really tough ABS plastic, so it was my fault for putting, you know, 
an 85 pound fully loaded boat on top of it so yeah that's probably not going to hold well yeah so and i added these stickers so this doesn't come on it. the bona fide sticker does come on it but these don't come on it and neither does that so yeah but you basically just pull that little rubber tab down and what i mostly keep in here it is a dry seal on this thing so you know it's not going to be 100 percent waterproof but it is splash proof I, I keep snacks in here sunglasses bug spray you know i got a multi-tool in there some chapstick and you know it'll hold your phone or whatever but i keep my phone in my vest so i don't really keep that up there and check this little thing out so this is my this is great for this right here is an aftermarket accessory also that mounts on this tray that yak attack sells and it gives you a nice place to put like a nalgie bottle so i always have like a nalgie bottle right there i'll either run it there or back there if i if i need that so coming on back to this what i when you get this boat you will not have padding here this is some some stick peel and stick mini cell pad mini cell that i had at home and i just stuck it all on there i like having my knees up against that that that's really nice that's that's nice to have my knees up against it i like having my shin up against it when i'm standing so when i'm standing i like having that extra on there that's cheap that's an easy thing to do you guys can get that stuff pretty cheap in any paddle store any um any retailer that sells pretty much kayaks and and paddle sports you can find this peel and stick just clean the surface nicely heat it up and it'll stay on there this has been on there for a while and it's it's held up pretty good i'm sure it'll eventually come off though this does have traction pads in it so you see traction pads in it so it you can stand in this boat i put a bungee back there because when i push bags in here while i'm out on the water i don't want them falling all the way being pushed all the way to the front of the boat so i've got like i added some hooks in there for hooking additional things onto and you know when i don't want my bags to be pushed all the way down these are the yak this is the older bona fide um foot braces which are like a rudder they're made for rudders you know you you push them forward and it's like a rudder this is the foot rail that you might see on them so starting in 2019 there was a like a cost initiative to kind of like bring down the cost those things are not those foot rails are not cheap and just so you guys know you know those things are expensive and it was kind of like on a boat like this where there's no rudder even being offered for it what was the point didn't really need it these things work great Crescent uses these native uses these i've seen these on a wide variety of high-end boats these are really good foot rails you know they're they're by select design they're really nice foot rails i recommend these i did see a lot of complaints about like some guy some of you guys had got this boat and it had these foot rails in it and then they were like what the hell bonafide never put out any type of um like press release or anything that they were changing the foot rails but yeah these foot rails work great i if those wasn't in there i'd be totally fine with these i'm i'm fine with them i just had one here so i could show you guys the the update that is on this boat i did put like a little uh measure in here so i found these that these were free at like some show and but i think you can find these at any dealer like bass pro or something that way if i catch a fish i can just know i butt it up right there and i can automatically tell you kind of you know obviously it's not as as good as like a catch board or something like that but it's it's pretty it's pretty good you're probably asking what is this bar in the middle what's cool about this this boat is so long look what i have in here this is a full-on parking pole so for you guys this is the i think it's the 60 inch parking pole that i can easily get this out i stick it down and i've got this bungee right here and i'll hook it i'll hook it like a, a fast hook to like like there or somewhere like that to hold me in place so yeah that's the parking pole is that not cool you can fit a whole like yak attack parking pole inside this inside there and it just slides right up under the seat and it just holds right there i like that feature a lot <laughs> that helps out a lot you guys will know what i'm talking about that fish you need to stay in one spot moving on to the seat you notice that the seat is inside these little these little like pockets you can see how it's you know, how it fits down inside that pocket and then there's like a riser here that adds structure right there one thing that when this boat was being designed i kind of helped work on this design right here and one there was one thing that i wanted to do and that was add something on the hull that brought up a ridge because we had to figure out how to mount a frame seat in this boat with it now this is a frame seat so you're thinking how are you going to mount so you could put one big huge tray there but what you need you need to keep your structure here on your side for people getting in and out of the boat 
those are mounted on these molded in pockets there's these ridges that are that are molded into the boat and what that does that puts like similar to like how a kiss off comes out of the bottom of the boat and mounts on the and hits the bottom of the deck that's one thing that we had come up with to figure out how to get that boat lifted up there's an idea on how to mount these brackets those are glued on there I, I had originally wanted to tape them on there, but just basic glue because the glue kind of just holds them in place and keeps them from being noisy. They're mounted, they're actually mounted by these two screws here and two nut and bolt combination up under there. And these are just goes in here. So it has these little hooks right here where the seat hooks into place. So yeah, those are just little seat towers that are hold the seat up. I do mount, um, I like running a back support on this thing. This seat is an, is an okay seat. I did go in and, and put this backrest on there. This, this is a thermo, this is one of the thermo rests because I do like a lumbar support right there. But this seat is removable. It's held in by this little hook. One thing that I do like, there's storage. If you look, I have two full-size Plano boxes over here on this side. There's a lot of storage on both the left and right side for putting Plano boxes. And then I run like a full-on like money bag, Bass Mafia money bag behind the seat. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys. You, you take that little hook off. That little hook keeps the back of the seat from coming up. That's why you want that little hook. And it's basically a bungee that just runs through the back of those. And it hooks on the bottom of that seat. Keeps the seat from flopping like that. So to take this seat out, you pull that up. You lift that. And that seat comes right out. Oh, I have my... You can see how that seat pulls right out and it gives you so if i wanted to sit here and just kind of like fish i could easily use that chair and sit here and cast and just sit here on the bank and that'll give you guys another look at how those are. oh yeah and i did add some extra once again you know i like having the versatility of mounting all this but you see how that just rides up under there so yeah with the seat out i'm gonna show you guys that is a sealed bucket oh yeah it does have two stand these come standard on the boat these are just rod holders they come up so this rod holder straight up if you if you've got any if you buy any ex past 2020 they will have a the angled one which i like the angle one better because a lot of times i'm always getting these snagged on trees and all that so yeah just a just another another thing and you can usually tell because this is more like a triangle and the other one's like a um like an oval oval shape I did add this, this is not standard, but there is a cutout for this with, and I put two rod holders. What I do, I love running my, I love running my, um, my bait casters back here and the uh, Zuka 2, these are the Zuka 2 rod holders. I highly recommend these. I like these a lot. They hold, they, they'll hold bait casters and they hold uh, spinning rods really well. So I'll put my spinning rods in here and a couple of bait casters in here. And you notice how I do keep them at that angle like that. I like having that slight angle because it holds in with that trigger right there. Very nice, very nice feature to have on this boat. So that is a nice sealed bulkhead that, you know, is watertight. So anything from here on back is watertight. And the good thing is that does add flotation to this boat in the event you guys capsize this boat. There is flotation back there in the back. Obviously, this is not going to be 100% watertight, but it will be quick enough for you for you to kind of get the boat rolled back over and use your pump that you're supposed to have with you anyway to, <laughs> to get the water out. And I do keep like a sponge if you notice i do keep a sponge because you're never going to get it all out it's always handy to have one of these little sponges with you and i usually just run that back there behind the seat let me go speaking of seat let me put the seat back in a rod holder will mount over here just in case i'll show you guys let's say i want to move this rod holder to here is that not cool now i got a rod holder in front here so yeah that's a, that's the advantage of this lock and load system too yeah, moving on back. This is one area that, you know, is very impressive on this boat, guys. This is one area that you'll be impressed with the most. If you look, these hooks right here is to add some extra security of getting, of locking this down. So you can add some little extra to hold that, that down right there. But check out, this right here might be one of the largest 
storage areas in the entire market so when this boat was being designed one thing that bonafide really wanted to do was make this as open as look at how much volumes back here check this out so it's these two little rubber rubber hooks right here and you lift that up it does have a string wow look at the amount of stuff you can fit in this this tank well and another cool feature this has the 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 hook there so you can you can hold it down and notice how i can take that off and check this out i can take the whole hatch off if i want to so i can remove this whole hatch and i could either paddle it without it just so just so you know if you do that you might want to put some airbags in the front or something like that i wouldn't recommend paddling without it if you're going to do that if you're going to paddle with your dog or something or a small kid the best thing you can do is take this front dashboard off and it opens this area up even more so you can remove that dashboard and you can set like a a, a dog or, or a kid could just sit right up here while you're piling around but yeah back here back to the hatch wow this hatch is so impressive i'll show you guys i just packed this stuff in here because i'm thinking of doing like a little overnighter and i'm gonna show you guys like how there is still more room this is a full-on zero degree sleeping bag that i have in here my my watershed bag this this is a full tent in here <laughs> my chair so that is a cool little chair this is just an extra bag right here oh uh, here's something i want to show you guys too so i keep that with me too i'll show you that here in a minute i've got my little cook set back there yeah so i have my hammock back here different stuff a roto grip look at how much room is in this boat this is insane on how much storage this has Oh yeah, look at those things. So yeah, that is a such a wide area to add like stuff in. You can really pack that full. And what's crazy is you actually have even more storage on top of it. And check that out. Even if you wanted to, you could load that inside down and put even more storage up there and more storage up there in the front. And that's not even counting all that you can shove up into the bow of this boat, which gives this name the EX, which is a true expedition. And that's what the EX stands for. It stands for Expedition 12-3. So that's 12 foot 3 inches EX. Very impressed. This thing can hold around 375 pounds total loadout weight. Very impressive on that. I love that hatch on how much i can fit in there you can also fit like a crate back here for fishing very versatile this is a very versatile boat so yeah this also doesn't come standard on the boat i added that that's just a yak attack mighty mount what i mostly put back here is the yak attack uh visa carbon pro because if you're out on the lake and you you know especially if i'm somewhere where i know there's a lot of motorboats jet skis i'll run this flag and i usually run it right back here so it's up and if it's early in the morning or getting close to dusk i'll turn the light on this does have a light so yeah that's a handy feature to have but that is such a good handy thing to add super easy to do because you take the hatch off you just add that right there once again another big huge wide fat grip handle that's pretty much the entire walk through of the deck i'll roll it over and let you guys and walk through the whole and I'll let you guys kind of see the hull on the the boat but that's my whole entire look at all the crap I've got laid out here this is so much crap that I got to put back in there by the way but yeah <laughs> that's why I like this boat so much I can really load this boat down and just go out for a weekend or a day and I've got everything I need inside this boat yeah and that the bona fide sticker I put that on the side but yeah that's pretty much everything on the deck I'm gonna roll it over guys and I'm gonna show you the hull so give me a all minute. right so I rode the boat over and you can kind of see the the difference in the hull this is what is called the hybrid catamaran style hull or high cat hull it's got basically like a pontoon style volume here and volume here with a with the the volume in the middle like that and you can see there is almost no rocker in this boat at all this has almost zero rocker in it it is straight as an arrow <laughs> so and what that does that's going to make the boat track extremely well but where it struggles is on the on moving current um this is an extremely stable boat so this boat is extremely stable and it paddles pretty damn good to be as stable as it is one thing that you know when i paddled the ss and the rs which is two other bona fide boats i'll, I'll put up on the screen now these guys over here they're the same style they're like a sit on top style boat so those boats are very wide in the width I think the EX nailed it as far as like the best paddling style bona fide boats got because it doesn't have a lot of rocker in it, a very narrow style. Uh, 
like hull on it more than the SS and the RS. They're very wide and they paddle. I, I was not a fan of how those things, but they're very feature rich and they're extremely stable. Those boats are like big, huge rolling barges out there, just so you know. If you're into fishing, the Bonafide series are really good for fishing, but as far as paddling, personally, I'll be honest with you guys, I'm not going to lie to you, I don't like the way the SS paddle, I don't like the way the RS paddles. They are, they're very slow, they don't turn, they feel very clunky through the water, but feature-wise, if I'm just fishing, those things are absolutely amazing for fishing. And just a stable, if you don't really care about speed and finesse through the water, that's okay, and I understand that. That is not, that if that's not your thing. But you can see that it's very narrow here. You got um, factory install skid plates, there's the handle, so, and it's got a slight keel here. And you could tell by how hard this edge is, if you've watched my Crescent video, I can tell you like what, what you're looking for when you want a boat that's in current. That is a very edgy style. This thing gets pushed around. I have taken it down the river, I get it. I know if you've seen some of my videos, I have paddled it down class three, four whitewater, and I understand that. I make it work, but I can tell you, it was not easy. It's extremely hard, and I think the average person would not like this on the river. These are not river boats. Bonafide does not have a single boat in their lineup that I would recommend for like the river. Slow moving current, that's a different thing. Current like this, it's just barely moving, slow moving current, that's fine. A lot of those guys that talk about how well the Bonafides paddle, if you look, they've all got motors mounted on them. So all those all those pro anglers that brag about how well this boat paddles, one thing that, that's kind of like I notice all of them do, they put a motor on the back and then <laughs> they never paddle the boat anyway. But I get it, hey, that's okay. If I had a motor, I'd use it too. But I'm not, you know, they've got a $3,000 motor on the back. So I see so yeah, a big wide keel here. And you could tell like this thing is gonna track. It is terrible in the surf, it's terrible in white water it's terrible and moving current but as far as like a lake boat this hull is amazing for being on a lake super straight super stable i highly recommend this if you're just after a lake style boat only you're never going to be on any moving current and you want to sit in style but that's pretty much the entire hull right there the breakdown of the hull kind of kicks up right here handle there so yeah that's pretty much the entire hull right there these are replaceable so you wear these down you put new ones on those are replaceable always a nice feature to have that as you can see this boat has been used this is not setting up in a showroom floor somewhere and not being paddled so i have spent a lot of time in this boat one other thing i want to show you guys real quick check this out so this is something that i was kind of working with bonafide on and i'll show you it's a that is a cockpit cover i got i, I had it in one of my other videos somebody asked about it i'm going to put the cockpit cover on real quick and show you guys how it mounts so you got that hook there two little hooks here then you run it back and see the original the original plan of these little square spaces was to have some sort of little mounting there but i actually integrated it into the fold of this if you guys are interested in one of these you need to hit up bonafide and see if they can make this the pattern is already made and everything but you see how these little hooks work and it's like little bungees that run all the way back one thing i wanted to upgrade on them i wanted to put a tab on those so yeah how about that so there's a zipper pocket added right there that i wanted to put in there so you could access your dashboard and a waterproof zipper back here for putting keys putting anything that you want snacks right here right accessible right there but yeah look at that is that not cool looking so yeah that's an extra little little extra item right there that's not available but if you guys hit up bonafide and kind of like tell them you're interested in it, the pattern is made maybe they'll make it maybe they want but oh well i got one and i like it so i've been using it it keeps water from splashing in it's just another layer of um like like sun protection and water that can't get in right there but yeah i really like that so that little cockpit cover is a really cool item if bonafide would have ever made so the specs so oh yeah the specs so the boat is 12 foot three long I think it's about 25 to 26 inches wide. I'll leave the specs up on the screen. I'll put the specs up on the screen now so, so that way if I get them wrong, you guys can see them. 375 pounds fully capacity. I think it's around about 53 to 60 pounds, somewhere in that range. Once you put crap in there, this one probably weighs closer to 100 with all the crap I have piled into it. But yeah, 
All right, everybody, that's pretty much it. I don't know anything else I could go over with you guys on this boat. This color, by the way, is Hondo Orange. I don't think this color is available anymore, but they do have a really cool color that I do like. It's called Venom. I love the green color boats. So the Venom is one of my new favorites. So yeah, if you guys were gonna get one, get a Venom just so I can see more of them out there. Thanks a lot. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'm gonna go ahead and get on the water and give this thing a whirl, but I appreciate you guys for watching. Leave a like if you like what you've seen here. I'll leave a link to other boats that I've been doing, like wreck style boats, like the Crescent CK1, the, the Native Slayer Max. I did a review on that. So check my other videos if you guys are interested in some sort of fishing or wreck style platform. But um, thanks a lot, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll uh, catch you guys next time. Let's get this beast on the water. <laughs>